Hello and welcome. In this video, we will break down the recent activity for silver, starting first with price and then looking at supply and demand. Let's take a look at price. Looking at the monthly chart, we can see that price is heading down to a major level of support and that price is in a bearish descending triangle. At the weekly chart, we can see again a major level of support and three small peaks. So what we see here is the bulls push price up to a certain level and then the bears push it back down to support. Then the next time bulls push it up, there's not enough steam to get it as high before the bears push it back down to support again. And then the third time, again, the bulls are not able to push price as high before price comes back down towards support. Looking at the daily chart, price has been pretty much heading straight down in a channel for about a month. The recent drop in price is caused by a large increase in supply and a large decrease in demand. Let's look at supply and demand. Looking at the supply of silver, the supply of silver from production has vastly increased since 2013. Looking at the top 10 silver producers of 2013, 9 of 10 have increased production for the first half of this year. Only BHP has reduced production for the first half of 2014. Let's look at some of the other producers starting with Fresnio. For the first half of 2014, Fresnio produced 21,334,000 ounces of silver versus 20,980,000 for the first half of 2013 for an increase of 1.7%. KGHM, the third largest silver producer of 2013, produced 605 metric tons or 19.47 million ounces of silver in the first half of 2014 versus 544 metric tons or 17.49 million ounces of silver in 2013 for an increase of 11%. Glencore has had a massive increase in production with the silver production for the first half of 2014 of 25.5 million ounces of silver versus 11.1 .1 million ounces in the first half of 2013 for an increase of 130%. Looking at the rest of the producers, in the first half of 2014, Gold Corp produced 18.58 million ounces versus only 12.83 million in the first half of 2013 for an increase of about 44%. In the first half of 2014, Polymetal produced 13.9 million ounces versus only 10.9 million in the first half of 2013 for an increase of 27%. Pan America produced 13.2 million ounces in the first half of 2014 versus 12.5 million in the first half of 2013 for an increase of 5.7%. Vulcan Mining produced 10.4 million the first half of 2014 versus 10.08 the first half of 2013 for an increase of 3%. Buena Ventura produced 9.15 million ounces the first half of 2014 versus 7.78 for the first half of 2013 for an increase of 18%. And Cura Mining produced 8.5 million the first half of 2014 versus 8.3 the first half of 2013 for an increase of 2.4%. So all of silver mining has massively increased. It is also important to mention that for the first half of 2014, many silver producers are reporting a reduction in cost to produce over the cost of 2013. In addition to an increase in supply, Inventories have also increased. COMEX registered silver has been increasing steadily for almost three years straight and is currently at levels that we have not seen since the last part of 2009. So there is an increase in supply and an increase in inventories. Looking at the demand side, there has been a massive drop off in the demand for silver bullion. Looking at silver eagles, sales started out strong for the beginning of the year but then slowed down by mid-year. For June of this year, sales were down 18% from June of 2013 and these were the lowest June sales since 2010. July sales were down 55% since July of 2013 and this is the lowest July since 2009. With one week to go, August sales aren't looking much better. The drop in demand isn't just with Silver Eagles. Dealers have dropped premiums to historically low levels and many major dealers are having sales trying to clear out excess inventory. 
So to summarize, we see that silver has been in a downward market that has dropped down very heavily recently. We see that supply has increased, inventory has increased, demand is down, premiums have dropped, and silver dealers are having sales and specials. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.